Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm sorry. I, I don't think I got a video up yesterday. It's just been a crazy week, but I'm just going to put together a little royal update for you and tell you a little bit of other news going on. So it's um, just uh, before midnight on Wednesday, April the 13th. And my disclaimer, and let's go ahead and uh, get into it because we have got a lot to cover. First, I'm just going to go over a few little um, housekeeping things. Um, if you don't see my community page, uh, if you're not subscribed, you're not going to see some of the things that I put out. And this is a YouTube channel that I follow, and she's a, a straight shooter, great sense of humor, and she's from Australia, and her name is uh, Duchess Drop Bear. So if you want to go over and check her out, you can look at my community tab and click on the link and go right to her. All right, um, the other thing is I had put out uh, this on my social media accounts about uh, being a part of the um, Rainbow Radio FM. And I just want to tell you, everything's still going to be right here on my YouTube channel. That's just another platform, so you don't have to go anywhere else. You don't have to change anything. And um, I'm inviting all of the YouTubers that are in our community to go over, and I'll give them the information so that they can contact the owner and have their uh, videos put on a platform just to reach a larger uh, larger audience and uh, to maybe an audience that uh, doesn't normally uh, watch us here on uh, YouTube. So let's uh, keep going. <clears throat> I put the survey out uh, in the last day ago uh, and I asked, do you think the marriage of Harry and Meghan is over? And I had 430 votes and 10% said he's still in love and happily married. 63% said marriage is over and he is too stubborn to leave or he's staying for the children. And 27% said it's over and will leave her in the future. So if you haven't commented uh, and you want to do that, just go to my channel and then just scroll over at the top tab and go to the community page. Um, another thing I listed on the community page, and this was a just an awesome video, and it was one I found about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, the wife, and it just kind of, uh, it's really sad. It talks about how the households run, um, that the children are growing up uh, gender fluid. They don't believe in treating them like children, and they don't hold them accountable or discipline them, and you wonder why, you know, People, uh, children turn out the way they do. Sometimes it's because of the way that they're raised, and and I and I related to this because I was thinking about um, Harry and Meghan, and remember when they were first uh, talking about uh, being pregnant and having children, and that they would raise their uh, children gender fluid. Well, gender fluid means you treat them like an adult. Uh, you don't worry about if they're a boy or a girl. Um, it's this, you know, new woke thinking. So this is kind of what happens, and their life is just in a mess. And since he got uh, barred from the Academy Awards or Oscars for 10 years, he also, the day after this happened, was checked into rehab. Um, I don't know if it was just for extensive therapy, if it was a mental breakdown, but um, and his wife is very much the narcissist, like, in my opinion, like Megan is. And he is, um, you know, on the end of the strings. He's the puppet that she's parading around. So I just drew some... Um, very interesting parallels to the two. If you wanted to go over and watch that, again, look on the community tab and the link is highlighted in blue. Another thing, um, I highlighted one of our community members, Linda's Life Blog, and she also has a flower channel. So if you have something and uh, that you would like for me to promote and let the rest of our community members know, let me know. And again, this is on the community page as well. This is the uh, t-shirts that we had the t-shirt campaign only if you want to buy one. It's on my community tab, and it's also on my About Me page. And uh, I, my t-shirt came um, Monday. So I got my t-shirt this week, and it's very nice quality, and I love it. haven't worn it yet, but um, again, all of the, uh, the profits go back to the legal fund for the YouTubers that uh, Sue Me created and Keep in New York Mega Trash Free Design the Graphics. Um, now, let's jump into the stories. Now, Prince Harry uses the Invictus game to plug his mental health company, Better Up, as he claims the mind is like a muscle that needs to be honed, trained, rehabbed, and coached. Well, he would know, I guess. So, 
Now, it's funny how everything he's involved with, he's dragging around uh, better up. It was said that he had met up uh, after going to the rodeo with Biden, who was also going to Texas to speak to veterans the following day, that he was also talking to him. And he's already got some contracts with um, uh, certain military groups uh, and uh, just different companies and sports athletes. So, uh, I guess, you know, he's making money off that and he's going to pull them along with him. But what concerns me is if you're a um, a disabled military veteran, I imagine uh, PTSD and then you're dealing with a loss of a limb and just a lot of other trauma, um, like coming back in and fitting into society, still going through rehab. But it just worries me that it's more like a life coach, in my opinion, and that, you know, these people might need a true therapist. Maybe it would be helpful. I don't know. But I'm a little bit bummed by the fact that he's getting paid, um, according to um, uh, rumors online, <clears throat> to be able to go over and stand in front of the Invictus Games. Plus, we know he's got his Netflix crew there, and they'll be filming. So he'll be making money off that project. I don't know how you feel about it, but let me know. Um, it just kind of seems like that if... Um, he might be taking advantage of them. And who knows, maybe they don't want to be a part of it or don't know if they're even being given a choice. But it's going to be interesting to see how he's received by um, the Invictus community and how the people feel about him after the year that uh, where he's really treated the uh, Queen and the Royal Family badly. Invictus Games Foundation. So this just goes on to announce that Better Up is now the official mental uh, fitness coaching tool of the Invictus Games. So again, making money hand over fist, and that's what it's all about. I I saw um, an article, express.co.uk, and it was vote for whether or not you think Meghan Markle um, needs to have her titles removed by the Queen. I swear I went up and down it, and I couldn't get to the actual link. So if anybody else could, let me know, but I'll go back and look again. But uh, if we could vote in that, that would be great. Um, the Express says, the Queen's divisive actions removes any danger of Harry and Andrew taking on royal duties. So uh, the Queen's decision to allow her son, Prince Charles, to step into royal events on her behalf removed any danger of Prince Harry and Prince Andrew from taking on official duties. After Andrew had escorted her in, I know the media gave a lot of backlash saying that uh, that wasn't right for him to be seen escorting her in. And however you feel about that, let me know in the comments. But she's kind of making it known that, no, we will, you know, have enough people in the family to do these royal duties. Uh, at the end of last week, it was announced that Her Majesty 95, I thought she just turned 96, would uh, not take part in the Maldry service taking place this weekend. Instead, for the first time, Prince Charles will carry out the traditional coin-given ceremony to be held this year in Windsor Castle. Now, poll, and this was the poll I was telling you about. Meghan Markle retained the Duchess of Sussex titles after resigning from the royal duties and moving to California. But is it time this was revoked? So vote in the poll. Let's go ahead and go on. It says, when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry negotiated their exit from the royal duties, it was decided that they would no longer use his, her, royal highness titles. Well, they didn't, but they certainly used the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in everything, even Meghan on her book. And uh, she went on the Ellen Show and she wanted to be introduced as the Duchess of Sussex. So on one hand, they're playing off these royal titles, but on the other hand, they're doing everything they can seemingly to cause the destruction and bring down the monarchy by creating their own brand. And um, and I just think it's it's just really sad what they've done, but it's like they're more worried about their brand and making money instead of uh, what it's doing to everybody else in the family. So uh, while they can no longer formally represent the queen, the Sussexes have made clear that everything they do will continue to uphold the values of Her Majesty. I remember that was also um, reiterated by Her Majesty right before the Oprah interview about a week before, but I don't think they did anything to uphold the values. And I I think that you would agree that everything that they've done since then is to um, uh, to tarnish its image and build their own brand. 
Since then, however, reports of tensions within the family have grown considerably, particularly after Meghan and Harry explosive interview with Oprah. Yeah, things have gotten bad, and I don't think that there's any talk and that there's any connection, and I believe that Harry is just going along with everything uh, that Meghan says and just like uh, Will Smith is with his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. And that's what being with a narcissist will do. Uh, and then she's kind of um, played the victim and um, kind of went wishy-washy as to whether or not she's even going to support her husband after he went to rehab. And his career is just in the in the tank. So a um, couple has come under increasing pressure to give up those official titles, particularly ahead of the re release of the Netflix and Spotify content with the expectation that more damaging uh, information about the royal family will be shared. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more. Oh, let me just mention this. Last week, Niall uh, Garnier, a former advisor to Margaret Thatcher, tweeted, simply incredible that Meghan Markle still retains a royal title after all she has done to insult insult, excuse me, and attack the British monarchy. And we're going to talk again about those titles in just a moment. So, um, again, we're going to try to go on there and see if I can find the voting link. I don't know if they forgot to put it. I clicked on the picture. I scrolled down. I read the article, and um, I just couldn't come across it. So, it said that the, the Queen could be forced to act in regards to the Sussex title. And I had read somewhere else that I believe it was Angela Levin um, who wrote Harry's uh, unofficial uh, autobiography right before he was involved or got married to Meghan. And that the Queen is going to start talking back. And I think with um, Angela and addressing some of the things where recollections may vary. And it'll be right around the time that Prince Harry's memoir is supposed to be released. So, yippee. And, you know, I can't believe it. It's finally time. So, we'll see how that works out and how much she's willing to say. So, um, same thing. Now, I'll tell you a little bit of news um, that happened in uh, New York this week. In um, a Brooklyn subway shooting, suspect Frank James has been arrested. And this was a guy who had gotten away from it originally. And it was said that he was a YouTuber and that he kind of went on all these various rants and I guess seemed a little deranged, but they did catch him. So he's 62, was arrested without incident on the street at 1.40 p.m. after police got a tip off at Crime Stoppers hotline. And they said that uh, they got him. He was arrested. The modem of the shooting is not known yet, but I'll talk more about that too in a moment. So he's been charged by complaint in Brooklyn federal court violating the law that prohibits terrorist and other violent attacks against mass transportation systems. So this guy walks down to the uh, subway uh, platform and starts shooting people. Now, um, he's a black man and he is targeting uh, white people and going after everybody he can. I don't know all the details or how many fatalities or uh, the injuries in that just yet, but it was it was just a massive thing and originally got away from them. So um, it says that he has nine prior judgments in New York dating back to 92 to 1998, including possession of burglary tools, criminal sex act, and a theft of service. NYPD chief of detectives, James Essex, said he also had three judgments in New Jersey in 1991, 92, 2007 for trespassing, larceny, and disorderly conduct. So it sounds like that this man is... Um, is really, you know, suffering from some uh, mental issues. But you're going to be shocked at what the squad has used this and turned it into. All right. Um, so that was just talking about the tip off and that he was reported being at a McDonald's restaurant on 6th uh, Street in New York. Um, he had gotten on the subways in train at the Kings Highway Station on Tuesday about 8.30 a.m. So he was doing this during the morning commute when all of the travelers are hurrying up and they're uh, taking the, uh, the subway and the trains to get to their jobs in the morning. After opening fire on the train, he got off at least uh, at 36th Street Station, boarded an R train around the platform and rode to 25th Street Station and st stop, Essex said. So this scares me to death because right now my son's fiance is uh, right up there, just right around the block from this and said that it was just chaos that morning and, um, and you know, people couldn't even get transportation. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine what it was like to witness this or to be a victim of this or, you know, to just have this guy 
and it is a terrorist attack. But investigators combing through the shooting scene found a Glock 9mm handgun, three extended magazines, two detonated smoke grenades, two detonated uh, smoke grenades again, um, and then a hatchet and keys to a U-Haul van. And they said that um, they had seen a um, heavy set uh, black man wearing a neon construction jacket. So it looks like he was doing what was done to um, the World Trade Center and the Oklahoma bombing with um, somebody pulling up in a van and, you know, having what he needs in there. So don't know what his motive is, and I'll keep you updated. This is the really sickening part. <clears throat> so you all know um, uh, Mr. Boozy, and he's the guy who works for going after the um, <clears throat> the YouTubers and uh, Twitter account holders, saying that we're uh, single-purpose uh, hate accounts. He said the subway shooter, 62-year-old man. Now, it, it makes you, you know, he doesn't describe his race, right? Not that it matters, but in this case, it does who has a YouTube channel with over 450 videos ranting about many topics. He also made threats in his videos, and his channel remained active. Does that sound familiar? How many times have we warned YouTube about problematic channels? And he's referring to us and putting us in the same category as this man who goes out and does a mass shooting with everyone. We're not a hate account. We're just calling things out the way we're seeing it, reporting what we can find online, <clears throat> and just having discussions about it. It's all for educational purposes. But he's gone on a, a Twitter, Twitter, excuse me, he's gone on a Twitter rant, and then of course all of the squad, um, you know, kind of hype this up and push it out there. And I believe again, part of this is to. Uh, link it back to Harry's court date where he's trying to get the IPP, Internationally Protected Persons, um, a privilege for him and uh, Megan and the kids. So <clears throat> anything that they can do to make it seem like he's in danger. Um, and then they're saying uh, somewhere else that, that the man was carrying something that um, the shooter that had Meghan Markle's name on it. I can't you know, uh, find out if that's true or not. That was just uh, some rumors going around. But if he can tie it to it, I'm sure he will. But it's just really sad that, you know, he's, he's, they're the ones that spew the hate <clears throat> and that are so negative and uh, want to talk about uh, misinformation. Well, they spread misinformation. They take something and twist it. But enough about him. Let's move on. <clears throat> so Megan and the Sussex squad should be ashamed of themselves. Listen up to the end. So uh, go over and check out the Duchess of North Sussex. Uh, she's a YouTuber in our community as well. You probably already follow her. And she did a, um, a good video on it today too. And um, <clears throat> so she can give you more details. And um, she lives very close to there. She's not in New York. Now, this was something that... Um, and give Angela a follow. I've called her out before. Um, there are new t YouTubers that have kind of come out since uh, Yankee Wally and Sue Smith were taken down. But Angela, a Scottish view. And you can find her. And I've called her out on my community page before, too, giving her shout-outs. But she found this weird trailer that the squad has created for Harkles. Dutch want to pay Harkle security. Wow. But they've taken like a Marvel comics or superhero movie. And as you can see, they've got Beyonce on the left, Sussex Squat, and Serena Williams. It's not these people, but they're taking these superheroes and putting their names on them. And they're trying to tell a story. And then I've seen other ones where they do almost fairy tales about Harry and Meghan's love story and how... Uh, the, you know, the UK and the royal family and everybody and the journalists and all just, you know, went after them. So, uh, don't forget to do this. Now, um, Sussex snub at Dutch King will not roll out the red carpet for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Well, of course, because they were just over at the Thanksgiving service for Prince Philip. And it was uh, said somewhere, and I can't remember who said it, that while all the royal family was together, and I'm sure they were eating after the service or before, that they kind of, you know, had some talks about what's going on. I guess the subject of Harry and Meghan came up. So I'm sure there's a united front there, and they're going to do anything they can to help their relation, um, Queen Elizabeth, to be able to weather the storm. They were probably able to give her some advice, and I'm sure offering their support. So, um... Meghan and Harry will not be received by the Dutch royal family as the couple arrives in the Netherlands for the Invictus game. 
And of course, we know that's coming up. Um, they'll probably be traveling in the next couple of days. Dutch royals, King Willem, Alexander, and the monarch's aunt, Princess Marguerite, will attend the seven-day Evictus game for injured servicemen in The Hague. A spokesperson for the Dutch royals confirmed King Willem, Alexander, and Princess Marguerite will attend those games. The princess will be present at the opening ceremony excuse me, on April the 16th, and the king at the closing ceremony on April the 22nd. But I guess um, it might have been presumed, don't know, that maybe Harry and Meghan would be invited to stay at the royal palace, but um, that ain't happening. So next we go on, Meghan Markle and Harry announced two huge partnerships. You're not going to believe this, and this is where I'm going to go back in and tie what we were talking about uh, together. So, and this just broke. The couple is partnering with uh, Cortico's Local Voices Network. It's a collaboration with MIT, and MIT is the university, um, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Very bright people go there. Center for Constructive Communication and the Institute for Reboot, Rebooting Social Media. Now, we know that he'd been involved and on the board with the uh, Aspen uh, Project and that was doing the same thing. Basically, they want to call all of free speech misinformation, and they don't want us to say anything about them, criticize, or have an opinion. So now there's more and more of these groups that are cropping up, and Harry is trying to um, uh, rally them all together. Megan and Harry said that they're looking to create an online community rooted in equality, safety, participation, and belonging, saying they don't trust basic information. Well, we know, you know, Megan had a problem with Joe Rogan on the Spotify thing. But the problem that I have with this is we're allowed to um, express ourselves and to be able to talk about it. We're, we don't target them. We don't talk about just them. We're not hate haters at all. But we are going to call out things when we see hypocrisy. But I want to tell you something I was thinking about and talking to another YouTuber about tonight that I think is going on. I really think they're trying to silence us and shut us down because we already know that, I guess, and I wouldn't dare do this, but uh, the social media uh, pages for, I guess, Better Up and the Evictus Games or uh, another company that's working with them, people were going on and, and saying, you know, um, nasty things like the Sussex Squad does to, you know, um, our side and, uh, of course, the Royals. But um, they turn the comments off. So I would hate to think that anybody would do that. I mean, you could go over and leave a respectful opinion. But um, I'm sure you all agree that um, these servicemen and women have been looking forward to this for a few years now since it was canceled due to, um, you know, our lockdowns for the last couple of years. But I don't think anybody from our community would go over and leave ugly comments like that because it would just make us look bad and make us look you know, just like the uh, the squad does. But um, what I was going to say is, I really think that Netflix and Spotify, they need the people that they work with to have social media accounts. And remember, Harry and Meghan supposedly haven't had one since the Sussex Royal. Now, we know that they have um, allegedly have spying accounts, and, and then they get other people to uh, put out their comments because they feel like they would be targeted. So, I think what they're doing is they're trying to really silence us and get us shut up so that they can open up a Instagram or Twitter or uh, whichever platform they want to be on and promote the things that they're doing and get it out there. And Or even if they open up an Archwell social media account, besides just putting it on their website. Um, but I really think that's what's needed and that they're getting pressure about that. And the whole reason they want to stop us is because... They fear doing that because they fear of all the the comments that would be left that would be um, disparaging. So enough about that. Oh, Canada, Prince Charles and Camilla, <laughs> I'm sorry, Camilla will visit Newfoundland, uh, Labrador, Ottawa, and the Northwest Territories in May to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Now, we know that Her Majesty has had to cut back on some of these things uh, during the Jubilee, and uh, we understand that. She's not in uh, the best health, still having back issues, and um, it's been um, reported that she doesn't want to take the pain medication, you know, because she wants to be 
completely coherent, but I imagine suffering through that pain cannot be easy. Um, Prince Charles and Camilla will carry out that official tour, and it says Clarence House confirmed uh, and the Prince of Wales that Duchess of Cornwall will visit in May and meet communities in all of those areas we just discussed. And this was a picture. It says the Prince of Wales first visited in 1970, and he was with his mother and his late father, Prince Philip. He went back in 1991, and he toured Canada with Princess Diana and their sons, William and Harry. So I just wanted to show this picture of the Queen. God bless her. You know, um, I it, I watched her on a Zoom call the other day because I follow the Royal Family channel. And um, I said, I just love information that everybody puts out and that's out there about her. And she was, um, they were opening up a new wing um, in one of the hospitals and it worked 24 hours a day and I think got it completed in six months. But they were talking about uh, there was a man there that had suffered from COVID. And I think his wife came down with it, but they were in very bad shape. And um, and he she was asking him how he was doing. And he was like, you know, I've still got some lingering effects. And she spoke up and said, you know, it was it's really rough. And I still feel it, too. And, you know, you get awfully tired. So I think it's she is still suffering from some after effects from this and she openly admitted it herself which I thought was really sweet and you know usually she doesn't talk about her health but she did admit excuse me <clears throat> that um you know she's still you know very tired and finds that um she's out of energy sometimes during the day so let me switch over let me get a drink of uh tea here I'm so sorry uh da, 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 da. forgive me I Okay, let me just go over. Here we go. Now, the next thing. Thank you. And I've been outside and my allergies are making me crazy. They leave a tickle in my throat. Meghan Markle slammed for looking for global control. She wants everything. Royal experts voice concern over Meghan's alleged attempt to control things in dealing with business. Well, we know that. She's always done that, right? I mean, so what's new about that? Uh, the next thing, I was just watching Neil, Neil Sean earlier this evening, and he said how Meghan and Harry and their titles have hit a snag and why. Well, I thought since we were talking about it, I would just tell you what Neil Shed said, and you can go over and follow him as well. But he said that he felt like that the Queen is aware that after coming back from um, serving in the military in Afghanistan, you know, bunker, bunker video game Harry, and I saw somebody else um, report, God, I don't recall who it was, might have been a documentary, that he was always protected. And then when they were fear that uh, they were coming in for his troop, that they, you know, immediately took him to safety, that he never really was facing um, that type of uh, combat. And I know Trevor's uh, courts talked about it as well, but he said she knows that he suffered from uh, mental illness and that he's had a difficult time and that um, a palace source told him that she's been hesitant to, you know, ask them to give those titles back, to ask them, you know, to not link it to their brand because she's concerned about his mental health and she doesn't know how he would take it. And I can understand that because even though it's frustrating, I don't say I, I agree with it, but I can understand it because imagine if you were the cause of somebody doing something to themselves and, um, you know, and, and you would just live with that guilt. And God bless her. She has enough on her plate as it is, right? So, So, um, sorry, I, I just had to put this together quickly, but um, I'll try to get some more content out tomorrow. And forgive me, I just got a little bit behind today and was busy doing some other things. But thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And um, uh, don't forget to throw me an emoji in the, uh, the comments if you don't mind, or give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, then I wish you would because it's absolutely free. You can unsubscribe at any time. Nobody's going to get any of your content. And it will just let you know that uh, when we put a video up, that you'll be able to see it and uh, you'll get that notification. So I'll talk to everybody really soon. Take care. Bye.